just really getting up. DJ got up so early this morning. But we're still in Buckhead from a long night. Oh, it's so pretty outside. From a long night, night of working with Rennie Curry. I think I'm pronouncing it right. But it was good. It was fun. Um, so, I am um, glad I came prepared because I was the only photographer. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I came prepared. Um, it was fun. Um, we met a lot of um, nice people. Uh, I won't say famous, but they're very well known people um so it was a lot a lot a lot a lot of networking from the time we got there until the time we left it was a lot of networking so um yeah i'm excited to see how this comes out what um not only the photos but how um just networking with other people uh well-known people how that turns out you know what will come of this so yeah As usual. Not as usual. As usual. What time did you wake up this morning? About five. But I wasn't We're working. at a hotel staying overnight without the kids and he's up at five. But <laughs> I didn't wake up at five just to do work. No, yeah. I know you wake up to read and pray. Yeah. But yeah. You know when people go on vacation and normally sleep in and stuff, but not this guy. Oh yeah, I don't got time to sleep. Sleep, hey, sleep is good for a certain time, but like Proverbs say, lazy being lazy. It's not being lazy; it's just catching up on some rest. Yeah, catching up. I said catching up. I said sleep is good, but you know. But yeah, we're not. You know, we're not lazy. Though. Yeah, we're not lazy. Anyways, DJ slept like a baby. You did. <laughs> I'm so used to sleeping with the kids and getting over them that i had a hard time falling asleep like harder than i normally do because i always it always takes me a minute to fall asleep anyways but um so yeah dj held me and tried to put me to sleep i guess it helped because i don't remember falling asleep <laughs> but um yeah being away from them has been uh not difficult but um it's something I have to get used to because I'm with them all the time. This is their first time staying overnight. Um, they're with my mom and her husband, but um, they haven't stayed overnight with anyone since I had David, and that was in January. <sighs> and they didn't stay over with anyone. My mama came and stayed with them at our place until I got home with the baby. So yeah, this is different, but I'm enjoying it. I'm learning to... Um, take breaks when I need it and I'm learning to um 
just, I don't know, I don't take my mind off of being a mom for a minute to get much needed time for myself as an individual and then um, myself as a wife with my husband. So I have to take advantage of those times um, and not feel guilty about it because I think a lot of times that's my problem. I feel guilty for having fun without them. So yeah, we need this. We need more days like this. So um, yeah. So I, I, most of you guys know that I'm nursing my son and I'm, I'm kind of weaning him off a little bit, but he still nurses primarily more at night. Um, and during the daytime, it's just like when he needs his nap or whatever. But um, I was like nervous last night about my breast filling up so fast and me having to wake up in the middle of the night to um, pump or remove the milk. So um, actually I didn't. I slept good, but when I woke up, I was full, but it wasn't painful. So I brought my trusty haka with me. All you nursing moms know what this is, my haka. So um, it removed enough milk so I can be comfortable. Um, I'm not just walking with a full breast, but it, it wasn't painful, it wasn't hurting, but I, I know I needed to remove it before it got to that point. <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm going to try to do more uh, vlogging, um, taking you guys along. I'm going to try my best to. Um, it's much easier <laughs> without kids. Um, my hands are free right now. So we'll see how it goes once I'm back with my babies. And um, yeah, that's it. Are we here at Alpharetta doing... Uh, Oh, we're gonna get, get something to eat. Trying to find a restaurant. Oh, they got a pizza place. They got Marlowe's Tavern. That's what I had looked up. Um, but yeah. Food, Just chill. Oh, let's go look in there. Y'all, I absolutely love macaroons. It's so hard to find like really good fresh ones around from where I'm from. This lady had a wide variety of flavors. It was so hard to choose, but I eventually narrowed it down to six flavors. first flavor I tried was red velvet and it was a little hard to bite into because it was still a little frozen but it was so good y'all I wish I had one right now so good <laughs> 